In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics of transformations. So what pieces do what transformations and being able to identify those transformations in any function. So with the basic setup, we have A, H, and K that we're focusing on. A is typically some number that's multiplied out front of your function. H is going to be inside of parentheses or absolute value, some sort of grouping symbol. H is always going to be on the inside. And last, you're going to have k. That's going to be some number that's added and subtracted on the back end of your function. So there's actually, even though there's three underlying, there's four different transformations you have to worry about. One of the first ones has to do with a out front. Now, a can be positive or negative. If you switch a to be a negative number, what that is going to do is going to reflect over the x-axis. So if you change a to a negative, that's going to reflect your function over the x-axis. So instead of opening up, uh, parabola opening up, it's now going to reflect down. The next thing a can do is that is a vertical stretch or shrink. So this is going to vertically stretch or shrink your function. So really stretch it out vertically or shrink it down. How you can work that out is we're going to focus on whatever number is in place of A. And an easy way I, I use to think about it is something that is vertical is your height. So you can think of your own height. If A was 2, for example, that would be like taking your height and multiplying it by 2. So if you took your height and doubled it, that's going to turn into the stretch. You're going to be a lot taller than you really are. So that is more of a stretch. Where if A was some sort of fraction like 1 half, so I said, hey, take your height cut it in half. That is actually going to shrink it. So the way I think about stretches and shrinks in the front is with A, just think about your height because that's also another vertical movement. Um, more specifically, A is usually if it's greater than 1, that's a stretch. If A is less than 1, that's a shrink. The next transformation we're going to talk about is H, which that is going to be your horizontal translation or you could talk about a horizontal slide. So this one, H, is very, very deceiving. I often say that it kind of lies to you. So you're looking for what's inside the parentheses, and what you may see is like an X plus 2. Well, most people would think, well, since we're doing plus 2, that's going to slide me to the right. Well, again, H lies to you. So instead of heading towards the positive numbers to the right on any graph, you're actually going to slide left 2. So it lies to you. So if it says plus 2, we're actually going to go towards the negatives and go left 2. In the opposite aspect, if I had like x minus 2, a lot of people look at that and say, well, if I'm looking for h, it says minus 2. So that means you have to move everything to the left towards the negative numbers. Again, h lies to you, so that's going to slide right 2. The last transformation is k. And what that is, is that is a vertical slide. So that is going to slide things up and down. So it's either going to slide your entire graph up or slide it all down. This one's pretty easy because you could just take it as is. Meaning, if you have a plus 3 out there, that means everything is going to slide up 3. Everything moves up 3. Your entire graph moves up 3. Where if in the back end in place of k you saw a minus 5, 5 that's going to slide everything down 5. So again, K slides everything up and down. H moves everything left and right. In A, that's going to stretch or shrink things vertically. And you have to look out for those negative signs that's going to reflect it. So here at the bottom, I have just two basic equations. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the transformations that went on with it. So I have Y equals X minus 2 squared plus 4. So what I just try and look for is the numbers that are in here, in what place are they? Are they A, H, or K? So if I start with this minus 2, notice how it's inside parentheses. H is inside parentheses. So I know I have 2. I'm working with a horizontal slide there. I'm inside parentheses, inside parentheses. So I go back to what I know about horizontal slides. Even though it's X minus 2, I know that's actually going to slide to the right two. It's always the, it's a liar to you there. So I know I'm going to slide right two. The next transformation in that function is I have this plus four. 
So again, I kind of refer back to A, H, and K in my original here. And A would be a number out front. I don't have that. H is a number inside parentheses. I don't have that. But K is some sort of number added or subtracted on the back end. So I know already that this is going to be a vertical slide. So I'm either sliding up or down. Since I know I could take K as is, if I'm adding 4, that is going to slide everything up 4. One more example is I have y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of x. So again, I want to go back to a, h, and k and look at what numbers are in what place. So I got this negative 2 out front is what I'm focusing on. I look at this. I have, you can think of the absolute value as kind of a parenthesis, a grouping symbol. So I have a number out front. Well, that would be a. So A is going to be a vertical stretch and shrink, and if I have a positive or negative, that's going to reflect it. Since I'm dealing with the negative on negative 2, what that means is this is going to reflect over the x-axis. So just because of the negative sign only, I already know that this graph is going to be reflected over the x-axis. Next, I'm not going to worry about the negative anymore because I already took care of that. Focus on the actual 2 and think about well, what does a 2 for you? Is that going to stretch me or shrink me? So going back to what I talked about earlier, I know the 2 is going to be a vertical stretch by 2. And that is basics on transformations.